This weekend marks six years since the devastating Humboldt Broncos bus crash in Saskatchewan. Sixteen people were killed. Life changed forever for their families and for the 13 survivors. CTV's Allison Bamford joins us. And Allison, how are some of them doing now? Sandy, tomorrow, April 6th, marks one of the darkest days in Saskatchewan's history. A heavy day for many, but it's the next day, April 7th, that honors one of the crash victims, Logan Boulay, for what he did just weeks before his death. By now, many of us have probably heard of the Logan Boulay effect. Logan died from his injuries a day after the crash, but the 21 year old had signed his organ donor card just a month before on his birthday, allowing him to save six lives through organ donation. In the weeks following, his story inspired almost 150,000 Canadians to register as organ donors. And now his parents, Toby and Bernadine, continue to raise organ donor awareness through Green Shirt Day every April 7th. That is really humbling to know that that has happened because you never know what your actions will do and how that that will make an impact on other people and this has definitely done that. But they say Logan isn't the only one with a lasting impact. Crash survivor Tyler Smith went on to become a mental health advocate and win Amazing Race Canada and Jacob Wasserman recently qualified for the Paralympics in rowing. There's so many good things that have come out of that tragedy, yet there's still tragedy. And we have to recognize the tragedy side, but at the same time, we have to celebrate the positive good things that have come. The Boulets say their household will go quiet tomorrow on the crash anniversary. As a family, they plan to donate plasma. And every April 7th, before attending the annual Green Shirt Day skating event, they visit Logan's grave to do something he always loved, build Lego. Sandy? Thanks so much for this.